You might be having an issue where Android Auto is just randomly disconnecting from your device. No matter what you do, it seems like it's just randomly disconnecting. Now, you have to figure out, first of all, whether you have Android Auto connected via Bluetooth or via a wired connection. So if you're using a wire of some sort, the most common problem with Android Auto is that the wire that you're using either is just not compatible or maybe it's just a faulty wire. So you may wanna check that USB type C cable that's plugging into your car and plugged into your device. And you wanna make sure that is solid and it's not you know, full of cracks and it's not, you know, you wanna make sure it's a functional wire. Now, usually that isn't the problem. Actually, usually I would say that is the problem, but if that doesn't seem to be the case or if you're using a wireless method of CarPlay or if you're using a wireless method of Android Auto, you may wanna just make sure your thing is connected so make, your, so make your way over to your Bluetooth connection settings, click on Bluetooth here, make sure it's enabled to make sure you're properly connected there and make sure there's not that much interference. Sometimes if you have like some really random case or some weird issues going on with your car, you wanna hope it's not a car issue because that could be a little bit more expensive. So you may wanna troubleshoot your phone first. Now if your phone, if those things don't work, another thing I recommend doing is making your way over to your Android Auto portion of your settings. So type up there, you can type in Android, you can type in Auto, and usually you should be able to see that under Advanced Features. So you wanna click there, and you wanna make sure Android Auto and all of these things are you know enabled. And you may have some other options down here that you may just wanna look at, and you can see, you know, start Android Auto while locked. You may wanna make sure that's enabled. You may wanna make sure this other stuff is enabled too, because sometimes if this stuff is disabled, well, that may be an issue as well. So it may not be the you know world's biggest problem, but that may be another issue why you're not you know seeing it or why it's not enabling. So you may want to make sure this is you know properly set up as well. Now on top of that, another thing you may want to do is try updating your Android phone. If your device is severely outdated, like I mentioned before, you may just want to make sure it's updated. So what you can do here is make your way over to your settings. You're going to scroll down to your software update panel, wherever that is. For Samsung, it's right there. And you want to go and download and install the latest update. So if there is an update available, all you have to do is check for the update, just like right here. And all you want to do here is download this update. Now you can see this update is going fast for me. So download and install the latest update. And that could also fix this issue. Again, it's not a guarantee, but it is another one of those things you can try out doing to actually fix this issue. If that's still not working, you can try restarting your phone. So just hold down the side button or hold on the buttons to actually you know, power off your phone and try disabling your device. That may end up working too. But ultimately, those are the main things for the most part to kind of keep a lookout for that can actually go ahead and fix your device. So if you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.